Hello viewers and welcome to the Artie Achievement Diary Hard. For this we are going to need a raw cave eel, giant frog legs, a weapon, a jade vine grown in the garden for the jade vine. I recommend you do this the night before. Um, health check it and just leave it alone until it goes wild because that's what we're going to need. Uh, planted and fully grown papaya tree or palm sea tree at, yeah, palm tree at the tree gnome village fruit tree patch. I recommend you doing this the night before as it takes like 14 hours for it to grow. Yeah, I forgot what protects it. You guys can figure that out. That's what I was looking for. A small fishing net, a rope, a monkey gree gree, base, a bracelet of combat or necklace of skills with at least one charge used so you can charge it. Six earth runes, three law runes, two astral runes, and two water runes at least. If you want to bring some more already teleport runes, that's up to you, as well as a glove of silence. We are starting here on Lunar Io. Please remember to bring your seal of passage and switch to the Lunar Teleport book, because we need to teleport to Arena Teleport. But you see, we have to speak to Baba Yaga, so let's go speak to Baba Yaga. Oh yes, quest you're going to need to do is Legends Quest, Lunar Diplomacy, Tower of Life, Monkey Manus, Back to My Roots. Watchtower, Catapult Construction, a uh, high combat level would be recommended. You need 500 music tracks, 71 magic, 65 thieving, 59 hunter, 59 slayer, 72 woodcutting, and 57 farming. Uh, this will be done assuming you have absolutely everything needed. So let's talk to Baba Yaga to try and get Arian. Yeah, something else. Lunar spell I can't use. Don't mind hearing stories, because apparently we have no choice. Okay, now let's cast or teleport. There we go. Hey look, red salamander. So let's uh, set trap on the young tree and see if we can't catch us it. Now that's done, you can dismantle any other ones that you have done. And now, for later, we are going to need to be on regular spell book. So let's home teleport, Lunar Home, this will take us back to Lunar Isle, and then we can switch back to the regular. And already teleport. Okay, from here, make sure you have either a combat or a skills necklace, and let's head to the Legends Guild. Just use them on the totem pole here. and climb down the staircase. We need to find and off a shadow warrior. Next, we need to prepare to kill our Jade Vine from after Back to My Roots quest. You need to plant it, you need to have it grow healthily, health check it, and then you just leave it. 
Uh, if you come back the next day, it should be wild, and you'll be able to kill it. You need to kill it with a hatchet, any hatchet, and remember to bring anti-poison and maybe some food. It does hit decently hard, and it does poison you. And a hatchet is the only thing that can hurt it. Oh yeah, and um, Sacacheers. Sure, you have combat equipment too, just a thought. And let's attack it. Recharge your prayer if you used any up, and um, go back to the bank and prepare for the rest of the diary. Next, we need to have a zookeeper put us in the Artie Zoo's monkey cage. This can be done by turning into a monkey near it and talking to him. Please make sure you are a regular Cromgen monkey or it will not work. And then unequip it and talk to him again to be uh, let out. Now we need to go try to steal some blood runes from a chest in the Chaos Druid Tower's dungeon. It does not need it to work, although I think it does. Go talk the door. Search for traps. Always search for traps. Now we need to go use the air guitar remote near the musician southeast of the monastery, which is south of Artie. Here's a musician, and here's Emma. My music is better than hers. Now let's go to the Tower of Life and we need to kill a frog eel. 
This is done in the Western altar. Now we need to pick that papaya or coconut from the fruit tree patch near the tree gnome village. Now we have to go to Castle Wars and do two things. Uh, you need to have a friend with you because two things you need to do. One is use a catapult in Castle Wars. You do not have to hit. It does not have to hit. You also need to be on a winning side in a game of Castle Wars. A tie will not count. So that's why you bring your friend because, uh, you know, friends are friends. They, they, sh they should be nice and they should lose to you when you need it. Okay, what you're going to need to do well, I guess I don't need them this one there's a catapult on each person's castle what I'm trying to find out is supply room there we go. You're going to need to take ammo. Come on, let's go find our catapult. And fires it. Uh, thanks to Jocko777 for letting me beat him.
Now let's go uh, make all their base are belong to us, hmm? We need to capture their flag. Yeah, so kill your friend once, capture their flag once, and then dick around doing whatever. Just make sure you win. Thanks to Jocko777 and uh, Julian0112 for helping me do that. Next, we need to go to Yanil and pickpocket a watchman wearing the Gloves of Silence. Please note that this must be successful. These guys are in the middle floor of the watchtower. 
And yes, I know one of the requirements is teleporting to the watchtower, but we'll be doing that soon, not right away. You'll see why in a sec. Now we need to cross the monkey bars in the Yanil Agility Dungeon. You will need a knife or a DDS for this first part. Because, yeah, we don't have a high enough agility level to enter that one. Darn it. Let's go find us the monkey bars, hmm? Ah, here we go, monkey bars. Next, enter the Magic Guild. Go upstairs, all the way upstairs. It's the west portal we want. Now, Watchtower Teleport. Now let's go to Alec in Yanil and make sure that you have your Arty Cloak too. Remember him, he's in the hunter store. So in addition to the RD Cloak 2 bonus, you have a better chance of stealing and pickpocketing anywhere in RuneScape when wearing it. After thieving from the chest in Arty or under the Chaos Druid's Tower, you'll be teleported to the East Arty North Bank instead of random location. You get uh, more drops from the creatures in the Tower of Life will be noted. You can get 150 pure essence per day from Wizard Comptry, and you have the ability to change the Watch Tower teleport. Uh, sorry, Watch Tower teleport to take the player to Yanil. Uh, and you can change that back and forth just by talking to him. Also, that experience lamp gives you 28,000. So let's get my Slayer level. Yay. 85, no, a summoning level. Blah, 85 summoning. Yay. Also, this opens up the ability for the arty hard or elite diaries. I do not have anywhere near the skills for this, and neither will you. So, unless you're high level, so I wouldn't really worry about that too, too much. Considering for the elite tasks, you need 81 fishing, 93 summoning, 82 thieving, 75 rune crafting, 91 smithing, and 69 fletching. So, it's going to be a very long time before you can do that. If you have the ability to do that, feel free to speak to Alec again. If you have the ability to do it, it is well worth it. You get four experience lamps, giving 50,000 experience each and any skill level 85 or above. Plus, you also get unlimited teleports to the farm north of Artie if you do the elite only. 
So yeah, um, I'll see you in five years when I have <laughs> the levels for Elite. But anyway, enjoy your rewards for hard. And thank you for watching and goodbye.